It's time for the focus group. Each week on the focus group, John, Jason and I present the best new gadgets that we can find in a particular category to our focus group and they tell us which one they like the best. Now this week we're looking at lighting gadgets. So our focus group is made up of students but they're quite rivalry. So we've got the Birmingham City University here yes! and we've got the University of Birmingham over here. Yes! And we've got some other students over here. Yes! <laughs> they're more quiet. <laughs> All right chaps, I'm going to go first. Right, chaps, my light source is Huggable. It's called the Delight Huggable. I'll just switch it on for you by pulling this cord here. Just have a little hold of that, have a little hug, and tell me if it feels quite comforting. Does it? <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, the idea is, uh, is based on the sunshine. You know that big red ball that's in the sky that comes out twice a year and we call it British Summertime? <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, it's based on that and having sunshine in your life and kind of giving you a cosy feel to your life. So let me just open it up and show you how it works. Inside here are 12 little LED lights that are all based in these silicon bubbles. And the silicon bubble diffuses the light so you get this sort of beautiful, cosy, warm warm light. Essentially, it's to replace lost sunshine, or you can use it as a night light or when you're reading at night time. It's from Japan and it's the latest in LED technology over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're safe to say it's for girls. <laughs> So what I've got is something called Philips Living Colours. Basically, it's a table lamp that gives you up to 16 million different colours. It's operated by this remote control. Damien has very kindly agreed to operate it, so you can give us some of those different colours. Using the sort of colour wheel, you can actually select any of those uh, colour combinations by using four LEDs, two red, one green, one blue. Changes the different brightnesses of those to give you all the different colours. You can also turn the brightness up and down from the remote. Jolly good. You can also alter the saturation. So if you fancied a whiter light, you could go for that. But if you fancied one really rich in colours, again, you could control it all from the remote. And you can control up to six different lamps from the one remote. So if you had a white room, for example, you could have them reflected off different walls and you could really change the colour according to your mood in an almost infinite number of ways. It's very low energy consumption and the LEDs last more or less forever. So basically, with this light, you need never get bored with the colour of your lighting again. Welcome to something called AmbiX. It's a lot more than just a lighting system. It's a kind of immersive experience. It uses all kinds of sensory outputs to involve you in your gameplay, in this case, Guitar Hero 3, movie watching and some websites and other code-based stuff. This is the first uh, iteration of it that you see before you, these speakers and lights and these fans and this vibration cushion. Now, I'm not even going to try and play this and talk at the same time. That's why I've got the man from the audience who's a bit of a killer on his axe. We're using Guitar Hero simply because it does take you through a range of lighting, which I think has the effect of being at a rock concert. Does it give you that effect? Yes, As a technology platform, it's got a ways to go, but it does bode well for the future of our digital media. Let's rock out. As well as demoing our gadgets to the focus group, we let them have some time to get properly hands-on to test the kit for themselves so they can make their minds up about what they like the best. I think it's a great product, easily affordable. When you actually turn the system off, you notice a massive difference. It sort of takes on the mood of the, the music that you're playing, which I think is pretty cool. And it's quickness appeal to me. I think it's horrible. I mean, it doesn't look comfy. It's definitely not comfy. You could make it a bit more fluffy or just nicer to hold, really, because it feels a bit lumpy. I love living colours because it gives the option to paint a whole room without having to pick up a paintbrush. I think it's quite, like, calming colours as well. I really liked it. I think it's good. OK, everyone, it's time now to make your decisions. You can only choose one of our three lighting gadgets. If you'd like to go with Susie's Delight Huggable, put your hand in the air right now. Yay! Nice! Yeah, one you. guy there in touch with his feminine side, I respect that. OK, what about John's Living Colours? If that's the sort of light that floats your boat, one, two, three, five. four, five, that's a healthy yeah, score. Good. And finally, what about the Ambiex? If that's the sort of thing you're into, Raise them high. Oh, it looks good. One, two, oh, three, four, five, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it looks like a resounding victory. Eleven. A victory for the Ambiex. Yeah.